Hello everybody, welcome to Paul Vickery Fishing. Today, I'm going to do something I don't do very often. Well, I do, but I don't really do many videos of it. I'm going to do a bit of lure fishing. I'm on uh, Heaver Lake. It's a beautiful estate lake. Uh, there's lots of lily pads, lots of overgrown. Hopefully going to chuck some weirdest lures through the lily pads and see how we get on. We might go down the river later. Uh, we'll see how we go. All right, let's make the first cast. I started off with a Shakespeare Big S, and it's important with a Big S. It does dive quite deep if you pull it hard. Uh, I like to let it pause and then just come to the surface. Anyway, we didn't catch any in that spot. Moved on to the next spot and changed the gear. Right, we're going to try some uh, floating frogs across the lily pads. One of these. I do like them because they are virtually weedless, but you do have to be patient on the bites, which I am not a patient man. <laughs> but we'll give it a go. this bad boy go this is the sort of swim we're looking for absolutely awash with lilies see if we can get any pikey to come up for it there's loads of little fish in here I haven't got a lot of weight, this thing. No. I just had a gold fogger in the bank. Over there. There's a little tiny rad down there. Where do you see him? See him? No. Oh yeah, <laughs> I saw one. Oh no, there. Yeah. See it? Yeah. Oh, my dog's got turned upside down. Has it? Yeah. Oh, there's something. There isn't any more. No, on a pipe. Something else. Geez, you see all the fish just move. Yeah. There's plenty of fish oh, hiding in here. There should be a big one in here somewhere. I remember when I threw, like, threw something in at the tumble <laughs> over there. Like, literally, I threw like a rock in, and loads of fish just went. There's three there. Four. It'd be nice if I could cast a bit further out, add a bit more weight, a really big yeah. floating frog. That's a good start. Is that something over there? No, it's just the wind, I think. Yeah. Where is the old dock? Isn't it over there? Where's the what? The old deck. It's over there. We'll go and have a go in there in a minute. Really? I remember we found it last time, but it's really overgrown. Yeah, Oliver's referring to a, a platform that is a good swim, but long since lost. Yeah. It's in amongst those reeds here. It doesn't get fished very much, to be fair. Eva Castle, it should do. It's a beautiful spot, but I think the anglers get put off by all the members of the public. <coughs> Getting a bit further with the casting. Ooh. Ooh. Just popping it through the lilies. Just putting it over the head of a 20 pounder. That'd be good. A friend of mine caught a 20 pounder this morning out of this lake. Who's that? Um, Woody. He had it on a pellet. <laughs> I think he was just reeling it in. By hook or by crook, it still counts. Right, let's chuck one over there. Oh, that didn't sound too good. You did have it right behind you, like. Yeah, I was trying to give it some beans. You did one of 
me while I was in Holland. That's better. Oh, it's <laughs> so easy to these things to overspin. Right, come on, Mr. Pikey. I've had chub on this floating vlog before. There's chub in here. Because it's fed by the River Eden, so it's quite a. You're not allowed to fish this in the closed season because obviously it's a river. But so it's also quite shallow. It was dug by hand. Does dig by hand mean like with a shovel? Yeah. But didn't they dig it out a bit more? What, they dug <laughs> all this? Yeah, all this. They dug all this by hand. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah, how deep is it? Uh, it's probably six are foot at the top. Him? Yeah, we are. Are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, he's got a bit shy. Anyway, let's go to the next spot. Bloody multipliers. Oh, that one could be fatal. Oh, shit. Might have to start again with that one. Nope, we're in luck. <coughs> no, here it is. It's hard not to look dodgy when you're there. Uh, it's a really open golf course, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, hallelujah, I think I fixed it. My poor technique. It's getting better. It's got all knitted on. Like with bait casters, you can't just flick them lightly. You've almost got to fling every lure. It takes a lot more uh, technique, a lot more room for error. Ooh, well, the pallet swim is a little bit easier than when we last found it. We literally waded through all the bog to find I it last time, didn't we? Did Albeit, I think it, it wasn't this one. This is a new one. No, there's another one, there's over, another one there. over there. Ooh. No, this was it. No, I think there's another I one over there. This is a newer version. Yeah, this is the yeah, one. More this is the one there. that Rob and uh, Harvey built last postseason. Oh, I like the look of this. This looks fishy. Doesn't mean you're going to catch anything. What pike could resist that? On to the next spot. Let's try and find some shade. Right, we made it upstream. This is where the river comes into the lake, or part of the river. It all splits into various islands, but this is a bit called the ruins. I don't know what this was. It must have been an old boathouse or something. Weirdly enough. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Weirdly enough, there's always loads of pike down here. Or in the winter there is. And the tourists don't come down here too much. Give it a bit of a go. A whole load of pampas grass under there. Or oh, willow. Oh, didn't find any bloody shade. Oh, it's hot. Must be getting on for 30 degrees. I wonder whether some of the big carp hide out down here. Bit of peace and quiet. I'm starting to get tempted to put back on my uh, rubber shads. Not having much faith in this floating fog. I really want an exciting take. But I also want to catch fish. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold. It's a beautiful spot. Quite fancy sitting bit on that bench over there. That'd be quite nice. Couple of dead bait rods sitting back, falling asleep. I 
on a hot day like this. <coughs> A few little ones soon about. Come on, Mr. Pikey, where are you? Right, off with the old frog. Put a nice spiky shad on. See if that does the trick. <clears throat> so I've just got 20 pound braid in a 28 pound wire. I think that's a five gram jig head. But just because you thrash the water to a foam with one lure doesn't mean you won't catch with another one. Trouble is there's a lot of crap in here at the moment. All dead lilies. The lilies have had enough for the summer. It's starting to die. <coughs> so yeah, got crap on the line already. Could be difficult. Despite this being a river, there is no flow here at all. It's like a big settlement pond for the, the River Eden, Heaver Lake. Ooh. I think that's just some snags. It's hard to get it to land gently, <laughs> you know. Quite often you get a take on a pike, literally as you drop it in the water, but I'm not dropping this in the water, I am smashing it in the water. <coughs> you can't really feather it. Oh, that didn't sound good. Didn't like the sound of that. I think my thumb just lost its magic touch for a moment. Alright, back in the game. Fine with these spiky shads, just a steady retrieve, like constantly moving it. I don't, the water's not shallow enough to let it drop very much, so I tend to just give it a little bit of a work to and fro on the on the tip of the rod, so just giving it a bit of life. Normally a steady retrieve, and then a bit of life on the tip. Something I will advise, when you're reeling in at the end, don't leave it too short, don't reel it into like that depth, or that much height, like down to the trace. Leave it nearly a rod length, because you'd be amazed how often there's one just following, and you can just move them around. Sometimes it's worth stepping back as you're about to um, get near the edge, because. If there is one following, <coughs> sometimes they see your shadow and then spook. So if you just step back from the water's edge, mm -hmm. as you're getting close to the end of the retrieve, they have it. Like this, just got to watch what you're stepping back for. And then bosh, one comes out and grabs it. Or not. <laughs> right, here's another spot. Three rivers. This bit's called. It's where the Eden comes in and goes around a big island, splits in two over there. Funny bit of water. It's quite often a lot of pike in here. Means we'll catch nothing. Oh, look at that cast. It's a good cast, isn't it? Oh, there was something had a go at something then. Oh, yeah, we got one. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah I got one. Oh, <laughs> I was just saying there was a fish over there. Yeah, yeah if you want, I haven't got the microphone in. <laughs> there was a load of fish rise over there. And um, I was just, just going to... Cast to it. Oh, it's not right. 
Oh, got to be a bit careful here, getting him out. Oh, got a bit of a bite on him. That's a pikey. Come on, mate. Arr, he's got quite a mark on him. Whoa. Oh, he spun around the trace a bit. I don't know where he's picked that mark up, whether it's a cormorant or something. Alright, just pick him out from here. Just finishes his doing his stuff. Come on mate, you quite finished. There we go. There we go. Nice heaver pike. How about that? Nice heaver pike. How about that? That's a nasty scar he's got on him. Yeah. Where he's picked that up from. Let's get him back, shall we? There's another one. Oh. Another? Yep. Uh, no, alright at the moment. He feels, really he feels a little bit better than the other one. He's an angry fish. Yeah. You can film if you want, Ollie. I don't mind, you've got the GoPro. Okay, we'll film when we get him out. He's not that big, he's only little. Should I film? No, we'll. Let's get him out. Ooh. <coughs> Probably a whole little pack of pike chasing the. Uh... Oh, it's come off. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, it was as good as landed. Didn't need to land him, did we? Let's check that hook. So, yeah, a couple of pike from that spot, and then it was head back towards the car down the other end of the lake. I don't know if any of you, any of you have ever been to Eve Castle, but it is an absolutely beautiful place. There's a walk all the way around the lake, you can have a good rummage around. There's lots of formal gardens and informal gardens and these lovely flower beds and it's, it's a pleasure to fish such a beautiful place. It really is lucky to have it as a club water. But yeah, you can go there and visit for the day. Go down and have a cup of tea by the lake. Mm. Oh, I'm quite glad to sit down. I've covered quite a few miles today. Um, got a couple more spots to try before we're done. I thought I didn't think I had one in. Oh, it's <laughs> oh, miles away. Whoa! <laughs> oh, he's going for it. Right. He's a nice one. Best one of the day. Oh, he's sick. Alright, get him out. Right, there's a bit of lava getting him out. Oh, my glasses are in the way. Right. Oh, yeah, he just took the bell out of that. That's a lovely pipe. Very nice. <laughs> Quite a set of teeth on him. Good, let's get him back. Ollie's finally managed to get the rod out of my hands and he's having a few goes. He's uh, finding the bail on uh, the multiply quite a challenge. Uh oh. Come on, let's go over there. You only generally catch one pike at a time down there. There's one. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ollie got a little perch. <laughs> oh, hang on, careful, careful. Yeah! Can I hold it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, Ollie got a perch. He persisted. <laughs> he wanted that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let it go, let it go. <laughs> All right. Go on in. Oh, steady. Don't want to hoop drop him. Got it? Oh. He's lively. Very nice, Ollie. Keep the perch. <laughs> Turn back. Great stuff. Right, Ollie, do you want to do an ending to this video? Pardon? Do you want to do an ending to this video? Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.